What is up everybody, hope you're doing well. As promised, another video, another CCP pickup, right? This time I bought a pair of shoes, a pair of derbies, a pair of folded derbies, a pair of one piece folded derbies. Bit of background, bit of history. I had three pairs of folded derbies before, all in size nine and they all fit differently. So I had color one, which was probably my first pair, I think. I got them brand new, I vibrated them, and they fit good in terms of length, width, everything, everything was good. And then after a couple of weeks, the folding crease basically at the top really dug into my feet all the time. So I had bloody feet basically every time I wore them, and then I decided to sell them because that's not worth it to me. But I always loved, loved, loved the design. So I bought a second pair, uh, this time color 10, which is black. Um, that was, I think, coarse leather. So the first one in color one was, was bison leather. Second one, I think, was coarse or culata. I'm not sure of any, any horse, <laughs> any horse version. Um, the black ones, and they were a bit too narrow at the toe box. So kind of annoying. I wore them for a couple of weeks and then again sold them. Then I brought a, bought a black, uh, a gray pair. I'm not sure what color, what coat it was. Maybe 36, I'm not sure. So a gray pair, pretty old and like good condition, but really old. You could tell that the leather wasn't that juicy anymore. So I all those the suckers wore them a bit, but the same, right? So this time it was the heel. So yeah, sold them also. But obviously I still love the design, right? So I'm not giving up until I find a pair that fits me. So I bought all of those in a size nine. Then I thought, okay, maybe I would need a size 10 because I wore all those without insoles, right? So, but then that does mean, so usually they're meant to be worn with insoles, right? You still have the option to use them without insoles, but they're designed to be worn with insoles. So if they're too small for you, you remove the insoles, but the rest of the shoe might not still not be perfect for you. So that was my thinking anyways, I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but so I, I thought, okay, I should look for a pair in size 10. I found a pair in color 10, which is again black with the lovely olive green laces made out of bison, which to me is perfect. Right? They're not too in your face like I love culata, but they're, they're a bit more chic, right? Because the structure is a bit more muted than you have in sort of like a look or cool or whatever colorway, um, whatever leather. But they're still, they still have a lot of character, right? They're not super clean as you see some of the coarse versions, for example. So perfect in between leather to me, and they are a size 10, right? So they fit a bit big. They came without insoles, unfortunately, <clears throat> but I still have the insoles from my CCP combat boots, which I don't use because they would be too small with the insoles. So I have those brand new insoles. You can see that it says size 44. And they fit in perfectly, they also fit in perfectly in the shape. And with those, they are incredible, comfortable, incredibly comfortable, and fit perfectly so far, right? I've worn them like three times, so who knows what will happen in the next weeks, but this is my new solution, right? To go with a size 10, and I'm pretty happy. Obviously, they look a bit bigger, but I think I can still manage because I'm relatively tall. So here you have a detail of the toe cap. Then you have some Vibram on. I'm not sure why they didn't put Vibram here. That would probably be needed, I think. Obviously it looks beautiful with the nails, but I would have probably put Vibram all over. The most important part is free though here. You see the exposed shank, lovely aging on this, even lovely structure on the leather here. And yeah, so they are constructed out of one piece of leather, right? Which is incredible. So you have the leather is basically attached around the sole and then it's just one piece that is basically folded here on top, right? And then they punch 
holds in basically where you can lace. And that's it, yeah, so you have a lovely stacked sole. Might be important to mention, it's always beautiful where you have those layers exposed, right? Usually other shoemakers, like they cover this up so you don't see. But as always with CCP, you have that exposed. Same here. So yeah, pretty, pretty happy. They are not the lightest shoe, of course, but they're not a running shoe, so don't complain. So yeah, um, enough talking, just let me show how those look on feet. So yeah, there has been my pickup, the CCP folded derbies in Bias, right? Which is Bison leather, color 10. I would also love a gray pair, to be honest, like a dark gray. We'll see what happens in the future. Color one is obviously amazing as well. It gets dirty a bit easy. And with leather, it's not that easy to clean, depending on what kind of dirt you get. But yeah, I think black is always classic and it's always better, I think, when you plan on buying more versions of one shoe to have one basic as a black. And this is, as I said earlier, the perfect crossover between basic and non-basic, right? You have, at first glance, it's a black shoe, a dress shoe, so nobody thinks anything, not too in your face. But then when you look closer, you realize, first of all, what kind of amazing shoe this is, pattern design, but then also the structure of the leather. And to me, the perfect combination is always the green lace with the black. I'm a sucker for that. Really, really good choice. I think everybody, like the first, if you make a shoe and you put laces in, shoe is black, 99.999% of people would use black laces, right? And this is a cool touch to me. Adds personality. Oops. <laughs> All right, I'm talking too much. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, right? If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, share the video, all the good stuff, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.